What the fuck? You can do that? So anyway, I started blasting. Um, <laughs> uh, apparently all you need is a Smith Script Shield and the Eclipse Shuttle, and I created a, a very broken build that utilizes this. Just bare minimum stats using to use the weapon. You could probably use this. I swapped out. With this armor, you kind of need some sort of protection, but uh, I swapped out the armor for some more cosplay stuff because I thought it was funnier because I'm using this armor for a different build anyway. And uh, yeah, this bug is back. It's broken. Report it to Bandai Namco. Do what you got to do. But yeah, hope you enjoy the. Uh, I got some invasions and some duels. Mostly duels because it's absolute cancer. Anyway, peace. So there's definitely some cool combos and different status effects you can do with this shield, but uh, basically this is the playstyle. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know what the FromSoft was thinking when making these shields, but they're way too oppressive. <laughs> wow. Like you pretty much saw, with the right build I have infinite mana, with the right setup you can use bugs and glitches and exploits, it's just, it's stupid. What the hell? I love how it comes back and hits him. Like, if they roll into it, like, it's done for. If it comes back and hits him in the back of the head and they're in front of me, that's like a guaranteed, like, three hit combo. So, like, whatever status effect, or you can use Blood Flame Blade, you can use Black Flame Blade on your. I'm using Death Blight because I think it's funny. It's like, yay, the Death Blight is back. And it's not, I think it's not as broken as Swift Slash or the Rolling Spark one-shotting bosses glitch and all that, or the one-shot madness. I don't even think it's that bad, because I have to hit these guys like 30, 40 times before some, it procs sometimes, because their vitality is so high. Like, he died before it could even proc it, so like, what's the flipping point? You know, it's not as bad as Fire's Deadly sh Sin and being able to shoot fireballs out of a flipping shield while you're doing it, but you know. <laughs> GG's. We're playing Elden Ring, so that means nothing but this attack. L2. 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 And roll. And L2. 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 And another L2. Sweet. L2. L2. And L2. And you guessed it. Oh, you died before I could proc the death blight. Damn it. Stale me, but my mind trap you his way.
Why is this a thing? Oh my god. Miyazaki, please. Miyazaki. Why? Why'd you bring it back and why did you add this stupid shield? Oh, proc death blight. Only took like 50 hits that time. GG. I'll take it, but you died first. Mm, death point. Mm, more like brain rot. Oh my god, this shield beats clean rot bloodhound step with passive healing and poise. What? The 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 meta what? Okay. Oh just a heads up, this bow is bugged. I get instant poisoned. He's gonna wait for me to go into my inventory and use a bolus, and as soon as I do, he's gonna freaking quadruple shot me with the fireball, but here's the here's the kicker. It's supposed to be like a shotgun, where you shoot like 20 arrows at one shot, you know, the multi-arrow thing, every archer has that. Well, might as well do something while I'm explaining this shit while he's rolling infinitely, but... Basically, uh, if one of those arrows hits you from the multi-arrow attack, it does all the damage as if all of those arrows hit you with a single shot so no matter where anything gets hit by that barrage of arrows it does all the damage how did that get through the frickin testing I mean I'm already doing a death blight build I already got swift slash and rolling sparks and the other bullcrap with the mantle of thorns one shot I mean they're all kinda similar just get really close to your teammates or your enemies or whatever but just ridiculous the bow? I mean, that sounds kind of cool if it works, but yeah, I don't know. It needs a lot of balance. This is another good example. If I was using that torch in my left hand instead of this flipping shield, I could build madness and death blight up on my freaking opponents. That's flipping crazy. And they're using uh, a madness build in duels, and they don't even have the black dumpling hat. They don't even have. I think they might have the madness hands, but if they just have the madness stuff from the DLC, they're not doing it right. They need the whole the whole gear, exultations, the helmet. I don't care if it looks ugly. You have the pretty waifu lady. That's just not. It doesn't work with the madness build. Ugly dumpling head. Get it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just I'm just having fun while I just freaking bullshit around and spam L2 at this guy until he figures it out that uh, I have infinite mana, basically. Because this costs no mana, it costs no stamina, it costs pretty much no recovery, it has like infinite pretty much everything. Like the recovery frames, the stamina, the mana, like, like what is... and it has status effects, just applies your status effects. That is stupid. From soft. Get good. GG.
So you check out this combo I was talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then he's dead. Like what? It just goes through him, comes back. You just throw it through him and it hits him in the head. It's ridiculous. Oh, well, fuck, dude. It is kind of fun. I like that little frickin' mambo combo. Here, have a pizza. Special delivery. Don't forget the point down. Tell me how you really feel, buddy. You're gonna die to the regular damage before you die from the death blight. What a hosiery.
this beats Bloodhound Step and Great Sword sh Poker, like Crouch. Uh, I, I, I can't even co comprehend what's going on right now. This is this is this is too busted. Too busted. These are just some funny interactions. I was really hoping to get some hate mail with these setups, but you know, at least they're good sports about it. <laughs>
gave him some shit for parrying, but honestly, yeah, I'll give him an honor duel. How about it? Yeah, going into your menus like that was just detrimental, but yeah, <laughs> devs got their work cut out. Yeah, it's just become a joke. Sorry, buddy. Well, that's all of the invasions I had in me today. After all that, when they started message messaging me and stuff, I was like, I started to feel bad. It's like, oh yeah, these are real people, not just my test dummies. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Death Blight Jawa, the Cancer Jawa. Um... That's the build that I was rocking, this, the setup, but yeah, I kind of copied that one dude, but I kind of went with something else with the Death Blight Knight with the Jawa hat, and yeah, we got your Rolling Sparks, the Eclipse Shuttle, um, pretty much if you want to roll the Carrion, the Phil Greed Crest, and the Blessed Blue Dew Talisman, the, that's your combo to get infinite mana and infinite cast with this until they fix it. Uh, as far as building up Death Blight, I don't know, I mean... You could probably swap out this helmet for something else and just, like, you know, like you could Fire Knight helmet, boost your damage with the Rakasha or whatever. Uh, you could boost your mind with um, Selvis's. It's your pick. It's whatever. But that's the build. I do got one more bonus for you, but that's pretty much it. One more bonus invasion. Yeah, it's not as busted as Swift Slash, but it's still pretty much up there. But anyway, that's all the clips I had for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.